rising allowances. So we're approaching the end of the tax year on the 5th of April 2021 and now is a really good time for taxpayers to review and ensure that you have utilised all allowances available to you where possible. You should review all your income, sources of income and any expenditure and also bear in mind this year that any um, grants that you might have received due to coronavirus will also be taxable. So as an individual, what are the allowances that you're entitled to? So first you've got your personal allowance. This is the amount an individual can earn before paying income tax and the amount in 2021 tax year was 12,500. If you earn over £100,000, then your personal allowance is reduced by £1 for every £2 of income over £100,000 that you earn. You've also got your dividend allowance. All individuals in the UK are entitled to £2,000 worth of dividends tax-free regardless of any other income that you earn. You've got your savings allowance. This is allowanced against bank and other interests that you receive. The rates are for a basic rate payer are £1,000 and as a higher rate taxpayer, this is reduced down to £500. You've got your trade allowance. So this is a flat allowance of £1,000 to go against all trading income. If the income exceeds £1,000, then you can elect to deduct this allowance rather than the relevant expenses if this is more. There's also a property allowance which it works in exactly the same way and this is £1,000 just for rental income to go against rental income received. There's a capital gains tax annual exemption amount for individuals and this is £12,300 this year and this goes against any capital items that you sell such as investment properties or shares. It's also a great time to think about making private pension contributions. Where eligible, you might be able to get some tax reliefs on these. And finally, there's pre-year-end spending. If you're thinking about making any large spends, for example, assets, training or um, marketing, and, and these are quite significant figures, then it's and now is a great time to do these rather than in, in the new year, because if your cash flow allows it, you will get these tax reliefs a lot quicker. If you've got any queries about any of these or would you like to have a chat about putting them in place for your business or you as an individual, then please just get in touch.